hundred years ago, three Romanians were imagining a world totally different from today's. The kind of world we should live in if we wanted an actual future on this planet. The three Romanians dreamt of a better and more sustainable world. A world in which consumption and profit were not the main drivers of development, but the welfare of both humans and nature. It is time to get back to these men and rediscover their scientific reasoning until it is not too late for us and our planet. Who are they? An artist, a biologist, and an economist. Genuine pioneers opening new paths for humanity. They were the first to understand how valuable traditional culture is in a world seduced by the technological revolution. The down-to-earth practicality of the peasant culture was used as a cultural and scientific contemplation of the world, and it proves still relevant nowadays. A question derives from their work. How do we want to develop? Father or wiser? This spinning earth is my motherland, my family. These are the words of Constantine Brinkush, the artist who inescapably transformed modern art. He changed the perspective upon sculpture, abandoning classical methods and capturing the essence of nature and matter in his art. You have to chisel your way through the material. That is the true path of sculpture, said Brinkush, who refused to use clay models as templates for his work. His technique brought him back to the handiwork of the old craftsmen, who knew exactly how to use nature's raw materials. You can only do whatever your material lets you. We mustn't force materials into speaking our tongue. It's us who need to take them to that point where we understand theirs. The work of Brinkush always preserved the load of authenticity stemming from the bond of humans and nature, so specific to the Romanian rural world, and he made that universal. Grigore Antipa is a Romanian biologist who developed concepts of social management connected to nature's cycles as early on as the beginning of the 20th century. After observing fishermen managing their natural resources in the Danube Delta, Antipa proposed new sciences, geonomics, bioeconomics, and biosociology. Their purpose was to establish the appropriate intensity of the social and economic life in order to avoid affecting the regeneration of the biological systems. Through biosociology, Antipa concluded that sociability was an essential trait of all beings, whereas bioeconomics helped him analyze the relations between the economic and ecological processes. Based on understanding the ecological balance, Antipa's system was expanded and used in several American states, but also in Europe. The only option of the humankind is to build a new society based on fresh ethics. Nicolae Georgescu Regen used to say, he was a rebel thinker who came up with a new paradigm according to which economy should be governed by the same rules that govern nature. Regen is considered the father of bioeconomics or ecological economics, which states that economic growth should not be pursued at all costs. Based on his research of Romanian rural communities, Regan proposed rational methods to make use of, in his own words, Earth's dowry which is limited and subject to the laws of degradation. The economic production cannot develop unless the limitations of the environment are observed, Ragan stated. Ragan was not advocating a diminished welfare, but a reconfiguration of production that would lead to spending less resources and less power. Ragan was the first economist who put the issue of economy into a global ecological context. And he was adamant in warning loudly and clearly about this life or death issue to the humankind. These three forerunners prove that a significant part of the sustainable future that the world aims for was actually born in Romania. Their work drew upon the precise and industrious observation of the relationship between villagers and nature in Romania's rural communities. 
nothing was left to chance here. The usage and consumption of resources were dictated by needs and not by whims or greed. And beauty had to be discovered in each item and in the harmony that reigned and supported the rural world, and hence the entire world. Grigore Antipa, Konstantin Brinkush, and Nikolai Georgescu were true pioneers in experimenting and promoting a sustainable world and the underlying concepts of an economy in tune with the earth. These three pioneers take us back to our roots and summon us to guard our roots if we are to survive and build a better world.